debatably one of the most important things in the game is getting to level 60 as soon as you possibly can. And it doesn't have to be a grind. I'm here with you today as Illibet. I play a lot of survival games. I like to play Conan a bunch and I'm pretty good at it. So I'm here to bring you a bunch of tips on how to get to level 60 quickly. It has its advantages of being able to lock a bunch of recipes, make your life generally easier, unlocking stat points that you can then unlock recipes with, and be better at life. If you're new to Conan, it's pretty essential. If you're old to Conan and you used to know what the metas were, they've kind of changed. Kind of similar, you still, jungle is a great place to come, kill all these apermen dudes that you can kind of see behind me there. I'll go show them, them in more great detail in a moment. But one place in particular that's excellent to come while you're venturing in these parts is the Black Garden. Journey steps themselves are really nice experience points, um, so you can take them off as you go. I've already done them, I've just reset my character to level 0 so you can see the XP gain. But while you come here you're going to get some journey steps as well for visiting here and touching a Black Lotus, as well as making Black Lotus potions, which are a strength potion, so you can get some nice little buffs with that. Let's jump off, that was bloody horrible. These guys are a nice source of thick hide and fur when you're in the jungle, but our main attraction is the black lotus themselves let's exit creative mode quickly so i can show you now these guys are going to attack me because i'm not in god mode and i'm full but hit that look how much i gained slowly go our way over they're gonna break in a second because they've got an oil on them literally a second though so essentially let's see i got like five almost let's get this one plus let's kill these guys while we're here we've got like no strength, but we're using a pretty decent weapon. Your weapon won't be the Lemurian Axe when you come here. But they're not that hard to kill. They do sunder you a lot. You don't want to get a bunch of sunder. The gas itself isn't too bad unless you start getting to about four stacks and then that's going to start ripping you apart. So you want to dip back out until your stacks go away again and then come back in. Alternatively, if you haven't seen my sandstone and gas mask tutorial, you can um, make a gas mask and come here. There's a few different types you can make. Probably check out that video when it's out. If it's not out already by release of this one, I'll put a link somewhere. Getting these dudes or picking them with a the pick is going to give you a bunch of XP. Just equip some encumbrance stuff. So it's not like the march that the lotus give you, but while you're waiting for the lotus to respawn, it's nice. So there's a fair few lotus in here. What level am I already? Already level 13. We started at level zero. This is regular XP as well. So it don't be, this is how much you're going to be getting. Okay, we're level 15 already. Level 16. Essentially, we're getting like a level per at this stage. By the time we get to like level 40 or something, that's going to slow down a lot. You're probably already going to be like level anywhere from probably 10 to 30 by the time you get here. You may have achieved a bunch of journey steps on the way and killed a bunch of other stuff. But if you're playing on official servers, it's about half an hour between laggy. Um, respawn. Oh, I hope my video doesn't mess up. We'll see. We'll see. I might have to race. <laughs> Damn editing me goes through. Goes through it. I tell you what. And you can just drop the lotus at this point as well. Or take it back. Because if you've got tribe mates, they don't have to come here and touch a lotus to get the journey step. Although at their low level, they probably should come here and get this. If you're on a multiplayer server. This is going to start becoming more, more contended. The more and more people learn about it. As far as I know, not that many people learn about it. I noticed it straight away on playing the test live. As soon as sorcery went live on there. So I've been trying to spread it as much as possible because fish traps and all of that fish traps fish trophies have been nerfed so them and also the golden lotus and if you happen to have your way to be able to get to places like the volcano or the um black eyes in places like this and here or if you're strong enough to do the godbreaker dungeon skeletons are a great source of xp as well but let's go mine some black eyes quickly you're gonna need to learn to survive the frost if you haven't seen my guide on that i got a guide on that keep you um safe up here let's enter creative mode while i run over this way currently level 21 let's hit some black ice bang for your buck also noted star metal is quite decent if you're on sifter and there's more reliable ch chance of star metal on sifter black ice is a nice source as well because there's lots by the dungeons you don't have to go to freezing places and before we go to super hot places, let's check out how much brimstone gives you. It's okay. It's nothing special. It's nothing to write home about, but you know. 
And again, before we go see Obsidian, while you're waiting for the black ice, no, ice, black flowers to respawn, just to hop, skip, and a jump away, you can kill all the monkeys upon your travels, and you can hit this stuff. It's gonna give you pretty decent XP, and there's a lot of them. And then you can make roasted mushrooms if you've been up to Leon's Watch, see my recipe guide, do you where to learn that. It's a nice food if you've got Amanitas as well. So come here, do that. If you have to have a map room or a friend who can teleport you with the map room, because if you don't know, someone else has an obelisk, they can click on it and then you click on it at a map room. Let me go show you quick. So say we want to go to Mounds of the Dead and I don't have that obelisk learned, but my friend does or my enemy does or whatever. They click on it first and then you click on it or spam it more like. So then you steal their teleport and then you go there instead of them and then they can click on it afterwards, which is quite nice. I'm not sure if it's a bug or an intentional thing, that Funcom has done but I hope it never leaves please never make it leave it's very handy for getting around the map especially when you're on a server and you happen to already have friends or someone who's a bit better at scouting than you are I'm usually the person going and touching all the obelisks and then sometimes like I'll go that side of the map and like my tribe mate if I'm with people usually a duo these days they'll go the other side of the map and we'll meet up at the map rooms and kill ourselves once we get to the obelisks always touch the obelisk when you spawn there as well sometimes I forget and it's super annoying but anyway on to to mounds of the dead before the volcano i'm keep putting off obsidian i wonder why it's just people talk about it as being this great source of xp but there's all these other places that you can get great xp because we're already like level 23 we haven't even done journey steps though on to mounds so mounds town mounds town mounds of the dead or mound town as i call it is not only another great source of mushrooms everywhere for that sweet sweet xp but you'll also find a lot of red lotus which you can grind down and get drunk from, which is useless these days, but mm. while you're here, might as well get some bark. Kind of decent XP as well. Basically harvesting. Harvesting lotuses seems to give you the most, though. Other things that are good are also like metal and stuff. That gives you a fair chunk. But the lotuses are definitely the best. And mushrooms, because they're like usually right by the lotuses, are another very nice source. So while you're waiting for the others to respawn, so you like get all the lotus, then get all the mushroom. By the time you go to the mushroom, the lotus will respawn. By the time you do that a couple of times, you're probably level 60 already. But if you're on a really populated server, you might have to go to a couple of different locations. And that's why it's nice to have the different options of here or the jungle. And you can even venture between both of them if you happen to have map rooms about on a populated server. And finally, the volcano. One of the least good places to come get XP. Stones, not very good, don't get stones. You're gonna get very hot, you're gonna need some ice to come here. Lots of things attack you, there's this event, they're very easy to cheese if you don't know, you kind of just like aggro them all. Let's get everyone angry. And then just run into the lava and they'll kill themselves. Well, you don't run into the lava, you jump over the lava because even though it doesn't instant kill you now, it'll still be very hurtful. And you can get some sorcery skulls from them like that they're not that hard to kill but they're kind of tanky and take a while if you're low level and they give a decent chunk of blood when hacked up just thought i'd chuck that in there if you've made it this far you get a free tip killing things itself does give a bit of xp but mining stuff definitely is a lot easier and quicker monkeys or ape men or whatever are definitely the best source that are easiest comparison to like other things i don't know the, i definitely just think mining stuff although yeah Let's do obsidian. You're gonna get super heavy as well, but you are gonna get some gold, which is the nice resource to have. It's giving us about the same as the other stuff, so you might as well just get lotuses, although purple lotuses don't work quite as well and gold lotuses work the best. Red and black lotus seem, seem red and black lotuses seem to be about on par. Now you can find a fair bit of golden lotus amongst the volcano, we're just over here. And that gave us a lot as well. So definitely worth smacking if you're below level 60 and you happen to see some, for sure. Now we are over here near the eastern barracks where the purple lotus spawn. There's a lot of birds, which are pretty decent XP as well, not gonna lie. Let's kill this guy just to see. Yeah, he's worth killing while you hear all of these guys. Then there's a lot of purple lotus around here, so it's pretty worthy. But as you can see, it doesn't give us as much as the gold lotus, black lotus. But because there is so much, it definitely is worth visiting on your ventures. 
So if you don't have the obelisks unlocked for the volcano or mountain, you can alternate between here and the Black Garden. By the time you go between the two, you're going to get a decent amount of XP and they're going to have time to respawn as you get in the mushrooms and stuff. And you can even dip into the Dis Dagon's Descent, whatever, or where I wanted to be, down here. You can kill all the sorcerers and stuff and hand their skulls in while you're about. Silver gives a smidge. But in my humble opinion, I do believe lotuses to be one of the best types of XP gathering at the moment, along with mushrooms and harvesting some other rare resources. The rarer the resource, the more XP it seems to give. Lotuses are so easy to come by and same with mushrooms. Those are just two of the spots that are just like available. There are so many other spots that you can find on your ventures. If, if you all want me to make a video on all the different resource locations, I can do that for you as well. Pop it up in the comments. But if you found this information on how to get to level 60 super quickly like you can do this like i'm already level 26 without doing any steps so easy to get this done so quickly just running around a couple hours not even maybe an hour when you two hours tops if you're killing stuff as well and a couple of respawns it's off the chain easy to get to level 60 these days and if you're on a boosted server like so easy you don't even need to craft anything although there are some ways of crafting some things that still give a decent chunk of xp go and hit some flowies it's definitely Definitely worthy. Like I said before, if you've found this information informative, do smash that like and subscribe. It means a bunch. And I'll see you next time. I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. Bye.